I'm taking a screenwriting class in the sacristy of the new lost and found church on Newberry Street. Part of my homework is to rewrite a famous piece of cinema in script form. I decided to write one of my favorite scenes from one of my favorite movies of all time, Click, starring Adam Sandler, Kate Breckinsall, and Christoph Waltz. Interior, Hollywood set made to look like an average white middle-class suburban home, day for night. Adam Sandler, ageless, a successful architect who says things like, I gotta get these designs done, and I'm really making a breakthrough in my architect project, enters his bedroom. Kate Beckinsale, similarly ageless, stirs in her bed as Adam Sandler starts to kiss her. She ignores the fact that he is a pudgy comedian from the 90s and she is a supermodel because this is a movie and she's acting. Although, even that's not a good enough reason. She seems to realize this and pulls away in disgust. Kate, Michael, stop it. The sleepover will catch us. Adam, they ain't gonna hear us. Come on. Adam Sandler is desperately trying to make out with Kate Beckinsale right now. Like, he would do anything to put his thing in her thing. Kate, okay. Quietly try to coax me into it. Adam, I gotta get back to work. Can't we just do it? The joke here is that Adam Sandler wants to use his wife for passionless sex, but she is trying to have a normal human relationship. Kate, come on, you gotta massage me first. Adam, great, I love massages. Although Adam Sandler says that he loves massages, he sneers right after saying it, which implies that he does not love massages. This make everybody laugh real good, real nice. The chubby former comedian begrudgingly gives an erotic massage to a beautiful woman who wants to have sex with him. But what's this? The Universal Remote! Why fondle and caress Kate Beckinsale's perfect body with the sole intention of getting her ready to have sex with you when you could just fast forward through the tedium? You've outdone yourself, Adam Sandler! This is a better idea than Bucky Larson, born to be a star, and Dickie Roberts' former child star combined! He grabs the remote as an inhuman smile spreads across his face. Showtime, he thinks to himself, probably. He presses the fast-forward button and the audience is treated to a hilarious double-time shadow puppet show of Adam Sandler humping a stunt double. We laugh and laugh. We begin to chant, Sandler is king! Sandler is king! We carry him on our shoulders, and we bring him into the town square. We offer him money and women, anything he wants to keep producing these hilarious movies that have always been funny and never been stupid. We assassinate the president and elect Sandler in the same minute. Democrats and Republicans cry tears of joy. Finally, we can agree on something. Finally, we can heal this nation. Sandler looks down upon his kingdom. He smiles at the growing mound of women throwing themselves at his feet. He lightly chuckles at the pyramid of cash we've built for him in his honor. But he still doesn't seem satisfied. We ask him in unison, Sandler, how can we fulfill your desires? We only want for you to be happy. He takes a moment. He surveys his surroundings. He acts like he's deciding, but we already know his mind is made up. He takes a shallow breath and declares, I'm sorry, but I have to get these architect designs done. I've made a breakthrough. The end. Very excited to get feedback on that. Next up is a man who thinks the world is actually a complex illusion created by somebody so they could do something.